Hello, this is Ralph Roberts. I'm W5VE, Amateur Radio Call, and I'm going to show you how to make amateur radio contacts using a Windows 7 computer like this one. So we want to bring up the Echolink program. You have to be able to license amateur radio operator to use this. It's currently fetching data. These are repeaters from all over the world. There's one in Jamaica. There's one in Tel Aviv, Israel. Uh, and there are a whole bunch in the U.S. Let's see if we can find anyone to talk to. Hollywood, California, but let's see. It's, well, it's 9 o'clock there. Let's see if anyone's... Uh, well, yeah. Let's see if anyone's around. Why not? We'll connect to it. Okay, it's connected. WB6BJM repeater. Hollywood, California, 147.0. Okay, I always wanted to go to Hollywood, so let's see if anyone's around. This is W5 Victor Echo, W5VA near, uh, uh, correction, W5VE near uh, Asheville, North Carolina. Anyone around, please? Okay, we'll wait and see if anyone comes back to us. Still a little early out. I'm around, but I'm on a telephone call, and I just want to tell you that you're making it into Hollywood, California. WB6BJM, Hollywood, 73, excuse the run. Okay, well, thank you. I always knew I would eventually make it to Hollywood. I appreciate the report. This is W5VE, W5 Victor Echo. Thank you. And W5VE is clear. Well, how about that? We made a contact, so that's uh, uh, pretty good. But anyway, Echo Link works by uh, connecting to various uh, two-way ham radios uh, all over the world. So you're actually operating a radio over the internet. That's what, but you're actually getting out over the air to make the final contact. So that's why you have to have a valid amateur radio license, like I do. But it's a lot of fun. It's another way to enjoy the amateur radio hobby. So this has been W5VE near Asheville, North Carolina. And I'm coming to you now via YouTube and who knows what else. So thanks a lot. Hit shift, shift F10, right?